Are you experiencing a client that always complains about their nails every single time they come to the salon? Are you experiencing a client that always makes insulting comments every time they come to the salon? Are you experiencing a client that never wants to pay the total price of their nails because they expect a discount? Are you experiencing a client that doesn't want to follow the rules and regulations that you have set for your salon? If you are, then stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dominique and welcome back to my channel. If you answer yes to just one of the following questions, then guess what? You have a problematic client. Oh, problematic client. Problematic client. Where do these people come from? I don't know. So your first option, because I'm only going to give you two options. Dominique, you're only gonna give me, I'm only going to give you two options. Count them up. One, two. So your first option to dealing with a problematic client is confrontation. Confrontation? Yeah, confrontation. Confrontation doesn't mean, I, I, you know, after you said what you said, I'm going to cuss you out. No. Time you do the offense, I'm going to let you know it. Okay? So let's just say you have a client that they, you know, it's always a problem about paying. And they, um, about the price. Not paying, but the price of their nails. Okay? So when they come in, before you touch their nails, you say, hey, hey, Miss Problematic, what, what's your budget today? What, 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 what's your budget and what, what look are you going for today? Because, you know, last time I serviced you, you know, you were kind of uneasy about the price. And I want to make sure that you're satisfied because I do have these prices set for particular reasons. So I just want to make sure that we are on the same page as far as the pricing go. And then, you know, they're going to say whatever. Some people, you know, when you do bring that to the light, they'll be like, well, no, I ain't got no problem. You're going to be like, yes, you do. Because every time, I, but you're not going to say that. You're just going to say, well, you know, last time, remember you said that, you know, why you, why was your nail so high? Remember? Girl, I was just playing. I didn't have folks say, I, I was just playing. And I had to tell them, I ain't playing, though, because I want all my money. But you ain't going to say that. You're just going to say, well, just give me your, your budget so that we can work together so I can make sure that you're always satisfied when you come to my salon. Let's just say you have someone who doesn't want to follow the rules. Let's say like a cancellation policy or... Um, some people have late um, fees, okay? So, and this this um, client is never punctual, okay? So, you're going to say, what's going on? Um, you, do you want to start being my last client? And that way, we'll have more time to spend together. And we can talk about more. Because, you know, our time, I always get cut off. You got to make it like that. Because, see, but really what you're saying is, hey, you running me behind. Because, see, I'm getting off late. But, see, you come. But you ain't going to say that. You're not going to say that. You're just going to say, hey, why don't you start coming last? Come, come, why don't you get the 7 o'clock spot? That way I can talk, I can have you a little longer to myself and we can really talk about everything we need to talk about because last time I forgot to tell you about what happened when I went down the street. And then they're going to say, oh, girl, yeah, that's what I do. But this is, this is what I'm serious. This is the confrontation that I'm talking about. So when you are dealing with somebody that you have to confront because they've been insulting, you can just say, well, you know, remember when you said this or what you just said, that kind of, that didn't sit easy with me or that, that hurt my feelings. And most, most upright people, they'll go ahead and apologize. Now, some, everybody not going to do it. They just going to sit there and look at you like, so? And what else? What happened next? So that's why confrontation when it comes to somebody being insulting is a little bit different because you don't know which way it can go. It can go either way. So your second option, which is separation. Now, this is my favorite option right here. Because, see, I, ain't, I don't have to tell you anything. This is it. We're done. We're done. I've separated you. So the way that you separate, they have additional appointments on the book. What you do is you go and you cancel all the appointments. If it has gotten to where you can't tolerate it any longer, you can get your last $300 off of them. And, hey, this is it. You want to be done with them. You go in and you cancel all of their appointments, okay? And then you block their number. Now, if you don't block the number, this is what's going to happen. They're going to text you and say, hey, y'all, my appointment's been canceled. I, I, I know. You're going to respond with, yeah, I know. Based on your last few experiences, you're no longer welcome to 
Leah Fancy Nail Tea. Because your comments are not conducive to the atmosphere here at the salon. See how beautiful that sounded? After you send that, you got to block them. Because, see, they're going to come back with some who shot, John. It'll never be, hey, my apologies or what, you know, it, it's always going to be, I ain't said nothing, what I said. Oh, it, no, you just blocked them. You just block them. That's why I try to go ahead and block people before they even got any appointments. So that's really the best way to do it. Block the people before they have any additional appointments. You can sit here and block while they over there washing their hands. They just said some stuff you ain't like. Let me go on in here and this is it. This it. This is it. This is it. Because I can't I can't be a good tech to you if every time you come, when I see you on my book, when it's gotten to the point where I see that you're on my book, when I look at my book in the morning, see who all I got. And your name come up and I'm like, oh, I don't want to be bothered with Miss Problematic. Not today, because I ain't in the mood today. And it's several times that you ain't going to be in the mood, because as a business owner, it goes up and down. You feel you like, I don't know if I should shut this down. I don't know, hey, I didn't have to spend all the money I made on products, or this just getting stressful, or this is not consistent. Or, but see, they don't see all that, because we have, to mask our, we have to mask our feelings. We always do. But they don't know. They don't know the behind the scenes. They don't know what we really go through. They think we it's just on the up and up because we have a business. No, it's not. It's stressful. But it's something that we love to do and it's something that we want to change. We're not going back to a 9 to 5 because we're going to make this work. So what I'm saying is separate them. It's okay. People are going to say, well, you you being mean, you just going to... No, I'm not. Because what's going to happen is these people are going to wear you out and you're going to start looking old in the face. One day I parted my hair down the middle. And I had five little gray hairs. That's when I knew it was, hey, this is it. I got the last little $300 off of you, okay? Now, this is it. This is it. You have got to go. Got some clients be cool. That's fine. When they come, hey, girl, I couldn't wait till you came here. Cause, girl, you, did you see what happened on the show? Did you see what happened on the show? Okay? Did you see what Cardi B and Nicki Minaj going through, girl? No, nah, I ain't see. Show, girl, show me on your phone while I'm doing your name. Now, what happened now? That's how, that's how you wanted to be with all of your clients. You don't want to be... <sighs> Miss Problematic coming in here. Then when they come in, they tell me some, hey girl, hey, because they think you cool. Because eventually you're going to end up going off. If you, you keep them on, you're going to end up going off. That's what's going to happen. You're going to end up going off. Or you're going to be downtown. Because you're going to be the ran somebody's head into the nail polish wall. Head right through that nail polish wall. That's what's going to happen. Because it's only so much a person can take. It's only so much a person can say. And since this is your company, it's a privilege to be serviced by you. It's a privilege to be serviced. Yes! Remember we rode the yellow bus at school? And it's the little side of the hey, it's a privilege to ride the bus. Meaning they can put your tail off anytime they get ready. You can be banned from any store. Why can't they be banned from your place? Ban them. Well, how do I ban? Based on your last experience or based on this experience, you're no longer welcome to live fancy nail tea. But what I do, because see, it's, there's no conversation after that. Because see, after that, if, if you're face-to-face, -face, if you had to do it face-to-face, -to -face, which I've never had to do it face-to-face -face that I can think of. It's always been through text message. But just in case, if you end up having, if it didn't get so bad, you had to do it face-to-face. -face, anything they say after that is trespassing. It's trespassing. Yeah, it's trespassing. So then you call the police. But we don't want to get to that point. Okay, why are they washing their hands? Bye. Bye, Miss Problem Man. I'll see you next time. It's been a pleasure. They're going to say, thank you, Dominique. No, uh -uh, thank you. Hey, and they gone. I ain't got to be bothered with you no more. This is it. You need the door to be open for your new clients. When you serve me, y'all can have a conversation or they can be on their phone. You can sing all the songs on Pandora and y'all can just have a jolly old good time during their hour, hour and a half with you. So it no longer becomes relaxing when you have somebody in here disturbing the peace because that's ultimately what it is, disturbing the peace. Okay? Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Don't worry about, hey, well, that's my money. No, no, it ain't. Because guess what? All money is not good money. And let me leave you with this final thought. Are you going to run your business effectively and efficiently? Or are you going to be ran out of business? Man, I ain't going to be ran. Yes, you will. You're going to be ran out of business. Because it's, it's not going to be fun for you anymore. It's going to be stressful. It's going to be draining. It's going to be hell. Pure hell at that. Let these people go on. They'll find somebody else.
it's been fun. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!